Hello, this is Senator Patty Murray, and I'm honored to speak with you here today. Every year on Veterans Day, we take time to honor the courage and commitment of our nation's heroes who have sacrificed so much to protect our country and defend our freedoms. And every year on Veterans Day, we renew the promise we as a country make to our veterans that after their service ends, we will take care of them when they come home. As the daughter of a World War II veteran and Purple Heart recipient, and as a senior member of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee, I've seen firsthand how important it is we honor that promise. Yet for too many veterans, we simply are not doing enough. I've heard heartbreaking stories from veterans here in Washington State that they are struggling to make ends meet, or don't have access to the long-term care they have earned, or are unable to start a family because the VA doesn't cover the reproductive care they need. And I know the pandemic has only made these and other challenges even worse. That's why, as a voice for Washington State's veterans in the Senate, I've been consistently pushing to make sure our country fulfills its promise to our veterans long after their service ends. It's why I've introduced legislation to expand fertility treatment and counseling for veterans and their families, ensure VA is prioritizing the long-term care needs of all veterans, including women veterans, veterans of color, LGBTQ veterans, and veterans with disabilities, and give veterans the tools they need to build real financial security into retirement, and why I am continuing my work to strengthen critical investments in housing assistance, mental health care, caregiving, and more for our veterans. Because while Veterans Day presents an annual opportunity to remember the sacrifice of our nation's veterans, it also presents an important reminder the best way we can honor the sacrifice of our country's heroes is by working every day to fulfill the promises we've made to them as a country. So to all of our veterans, thank you. And please know I will not stop fighting for you in the United States Senate.